Hello New Zealand, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us for our weekend weather update and the outlook for next week as well. Well, across the country, we've got two areas of low pressure. Low number one out here in the Tasman Sea, low number two up here to the north. And the two are basically working in tandem. That's why we're seeing so much humidity now coming back to northern New Zealand. It's not necessarily hot. There's a lot of cloud cover, but the humidity is definitely going up as we get a little bit more of a subtropical airflow going through. So the two lows working together to produce a lot of cloud around the country. So this is how Saturday looks. It's mostly cloudy in the North Island. We've got a few showers around the north and northeastern facing regions as you sort of look towards the northeast. Drizzle patches in the mix, maybe a few heavier showers too. Otherwise, most places are fairly dry and those winds are easing back a little bit further. They've been a wee bit windy from Auckland northwards over the last couple of days. They should ease back a little further on Saturday. Meanwhile, out in the Tasman, the other low is still pushing in a line of rain. It's what we call training when it comes in in a narrow line, one downpour after the other. And that's what we're seeing coming through here, affecting places like Franz Josef, whereas a little bit to the side of it, could be fairly dry. Now there could be a few spits that spill over into Southland Otago, maybe South Canterbury, but it won't be very much. Then we get to Sunday and our secondary low up in the tropics here is drifting closer. It is weakening though by Sunday, but you can see a couple of big downpours around it. So that might just clip the very upper half of Northland and it might also come in around East Cape. Otherwise you've just got drizzle patches, still a lot of cloud and the other low in the Tasman's fallen apart. You've just got a few downpours and a bit of patchy rain left over from that and the winds still a bit breezy from the west. So here are the rainfall totals and you can see that area around Franz Josef getting up around 200 millimetres potentially, 150 to 200 millimetres in that line there, just from that narrow line of rain. But you only have to go a little bit further afield from it and you're only talking 10, 15 millimetres around inland parts of Canter Canterbury and up around the west coast, anywhere between about 20 millimetres and 40 millimetres around those regions. For northern areas, you can see Northland gets affected, that's up around the 25 to 30 millimetre mark. Most other places though, you're only talking about one, two, five millimetres, or potentially nothing at all for some of those central eastern areas. So that's the weekend's rainfall. Let's get into next week now. That weakening low from the subtropics comes in over the eastern side of the North Island, brings a little bit of rain, but it won't be a huge amount. It is dropping southwards. There's not a lot of energy in it. And remember that low is weakening as it moves in around the South Island, a couple of showers, otherwise fairly calm. By Tuesday, another area of uh, rain or showers moving through with a southerly change. Temperatures take a bit of a hit on Tuesday uh, around the South Island, around the lower half of it. There could be several degrees down on where you were just around a few days ago. In the North Island, we don't have a high or a low. The air pressure is pretty much average for you on Tuesday. There'll still be a bit of cloud around. And by Wednesday, this is an interesting shift in the weather pattern for next week. For those who are wanting a dry spell, there's an increasing chance of that down around the South Island with sunny weather, thanks to a huge high rolling in from the South. But at the same time, We've got a very large subtropical low forming. It's not a cyclone, it's too big. The energy's spread out much too far. But you can see all this area up here is sinking low air pressure. That's why you can see the isopars dropping down like that. There is low pressure forming in there as it drifts down towards us. There could be plenty more rain coming and a bit more humidity for the end of next week, around the north anyway. So we'll keep you up to date next week. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again on Monday.